this reveals if you have caused a narcissistic injury. It's very important that you understand if you have caused a narcissistic injury or not. Because when a narcissist is triggered, they will try to trigger you. They will try to get you to disconnect from yourself. Because by doing that, it then validates their false self. It makes them feel powerful and in control. When normally they would feel powerless and helpless. But once you understand the dynamics of this, it will help you to regain your sense of self and self-worth. They are narcissistic because they lack a true sense of self and they have a lack of self-worth. So they are seeking attention and validation to validate their exaggerated sense of self. Because they view themselves in a biased and distorted way which has no basis in reality. So after a certain amount of time it seems inaccurate, unfair and misleading because this view of themselves exists only in their minds and it's difficult for them to validate it. So they impose a shared fantasy to get you to validate this biased and distorted view of themselves. But in order for you to validate it, you have to split off from your true self because their false self has no basis in reality. It's a fantasy that exists only in their minds. And partnered with their sense of grandiosity is a lack of empathy. So they don't care about anything. They don't even care about their true selves. Because what's always at the forefront of their minds is seeking attention and validation for their false self. It stems from insecurity, because of course their false self isn't real, so they have to control the environment that they're in. They have to influence and direct people's behaviour at the course of events, so that they don't get exposed. Which is why if you foil their plans, or if you do something that they didn't expect you to do, such as abandoning or rejecting them, they feel like they have lost control and it causes them anxiety even if they are the ones who are ending the relationship so then they have to cause destruction they have to disturb the peace they have to dominate you to assert their authority and control over the situation and over you which they will achieve by spreading rumors or by sabotaging you or by turning people against you to throw everything into disarray until the external environment then begins to reflect their internal state. So then they no longer have to feel like something is wrong with them. Because now there's all of this chaos and drama in the external environment. While they now feel a sense of peace and calm following their tantrum. Which is why they will discredit you. They will ruin your reputation. They will ruin your sense of self. They will diminish your value because then it regulates them. It makes them feel better about themselves. When they can purge themselves of their unwanted qualities and feelings, it's a process of purification. A cleansing of their impurities or undesirable elements. And when they engage in these activities, it may also trigger and upset you to where you may then lash out at them or engage in reactive abuse. But this isn't because you can't self-regulate. It's because you're trying to rid yourself of foreign matter. Of these emotions that were projected onto you. Which is a reflexive behaviour for an empath. When someone projects an unwanted feeling or quality onto the empath, the empath typically projects it back because it doesn't belong to the empath, while the narcissist projects their feelings or qualities 
because it makes them feel good. The narcissist wants to control how people see you and what they think about you, which is why they put you down. Because they want you to feel like you're nothing. But if they're unable to make you feel that way, then they will try to make you feel like you're anything other than yourself. They will distort your self-perception. They will misrepresent, misstate, complicate, misconstrue, falsify, misinterpret, twist, obscure. Because then it stabilizes their false sense of self. To where the false self is then less likely to change, fall or decline. Because they're controlling the narrative of how people perceive. Which is why they feel good when they destroy your credibility. It makes their false self seem more convincing and believable. To where other people are more likely to trust, rely and depend on the narcissist. Because they then acquire their integrity, character and reputation by discrediting you. But if other people believe what they're saying about you, do those other people really know you? Because have they spent a lot of time with you? Shouldn't they know you better than the narcissist? So why would they need another person to tell them who you are? Which is why you do not need to justify or defend yourself. You do not need to prove yourself to anyone. Because you haven't done anything wrong. What they are saying about you is not true. They are fabricating these lies to make themselves look good and to feel better about themselves. Which is why they are not trying to mediate, reconcile, act as a peacemaker or seek a sense of resolve. They are not trying to rebuild or restore anything. They are damaging and destroying. They are trying to tear you down so that you can no longer function or perform properly. Because they're very jealous. They are competing with you. So they do not want you to be doing better than them. And if you are doing better than them, they will sabotage you. Because narcissists are sore losers. They are habitually angered, irritated and annoyed. When they do not win something or gain a desired advantage. So they will not accept their defeat with grace or dignity. They will go all out to destroy you. If you're playing a game of chess with a narcissist, they will try to cheat. When you're not looking, they will switch the pieces. But if you still manage to win, they will flip the board. And then they will compete with you in something else. They might try to get you to wrestle with them. But then they will tie your hands behind your back. Because they don't really care about competing. They're not striving to win anything. They just don't want to feel like a loser. They lack sportsmanship. They do not show fairness or respect to their opponents. They do not respect the rules. Even if they are rules that they have created. They will break their own rules. They will do anything to win. They don't believe in fair play. Because they lack character, integrity, practice and skill. So if they had to be fair, generous and polite. They would see it as though they are just letting you win. Because they already feel inferior to you. That's why they're so antagonistic, forceful and competitive. It's why they're always trying to challenge or discredit you. It's why they can never keep their cool. Because they view you as a threat. They know that you have the power to inflict severe punishment and injury on them, even though you may not choose to. Which is why they are constantly comparing themselves to you. And it's why if you are doing better than them, they will try to bring you down. Because they want that success, they want what you've got, so they try to consume you as a person. They devour you hungrily and quickly. They immerse, engulf and inundate you. They overwhelm you with things, people or duties and responsibilities to be dealt with, 
they flood, overflow and submerge you to where you then plummet and descend. They expend you by using you, they deplete and exhaust you until they have diminished you, until you have become less impressive or valuable. Because they're scroungers, leeches, parasites, bottom feeders, they live off you, they steal from you. Instead of working for it and earning it. They're not there to praise how wonderful you are or to support you. They are there to take what you have. Because they're very jealous. They see it as a competition. So they feel that they should have what you have. Which is why they feel good when they destroy your credibility. Because then they belittle you. They've made it difficult for you to recover, when normally you would be a constant reminder of how inadequate they are. So it's all about them. It's all about managing their painful feelings of inadequacy, because they have low self-esteem and a fragile ego. So they are trying to protect and preserve themselves from a perceived threat. It's a defense mechanism, which is why they're so egotistical. They cannot connect to you on a deeper level. They can only be superficial because they feel threatened by you on a surface level. So this is what they have to do to cope and to make sense of their unfortunate regality. They have to punish you because it helps them to further manipulate and control you. It gives them the power to make a decision about something where they could then navigate themselves through their range of emotions and rewrite the narrative because they want to portray themselves as either the victim or the hero. So they cause destruction to change the narrative and paint themselves in a more positive light as though they didn't do anything wrong or as though what they did was justified. They have to manipulate people's perceptions of them to turn people to their advantage because it's all about them. They are the director, the scriptwriter, the star of the show, and also a part of their own audience. As long as everything goes their way. Which is why they are terrified of abandonment. Because they always have to be in control, so that things play out in the way that they see it in their minds. Which stems from deep insecurities that were established in childhood. They see us as objects, rather than people. People are like toys to the narcissist. Which is something they play with absent-mindedly for their own amusement, entertainment and distraction. A game. And if they sense that someone or something is taking their toy away, they get very jealous and they will want to destroy the toy so that no one else can play with it. So if they sense that the relationship is coming to an end, they will destroy aspects of your life so that no one else can partake in something that they couldn't have and to prevent you from abandoning them first so that it keeps them in control of the relationship and in control of the narrative and of how other people perceive you. They're not trying to be better. They're not trying to understand what they did wrong. They're only interested in manipulating and controlling people. They will never care about how anyone feels. Because to them only their feelings are important. And they have great difficulty managing their own emotions. Which is how they only end up creating confusing situations that are full of problems. They only end up destroying you before you leave. But then even if you stay, they will just destroy you gradually. Because they are trapped in a endless cycle. They are not interested in change. They are not interested in understanding why they do what they do. They will never reach that level of awareness. So to them, people in situations are just a means to an end. They're just unimportant things 
that help them to produce their desired result. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.